How do you feel about the summer work you guys got in? Oh, I feel good. Um, and that's the team. We feel really good about what we did. Um, a lot of time and dedication and a lot of growing that happened this summer. I think we asked you about this in the spring, but, it, you know, some people, because it's the first year with new staff, they'll say, oh, this, this is a transition year and this and that. But it's your last year. <laughs> right. So I mean, how do you balance that? But, you know, kind of want to leave your mark here your last season. Well, for me, it's about keeping my teammates or yeah, having my teammates um, give me a high expectation, giving them a high expectation too every single day, going out, um, performing at a high um, ability, and making sure they know everything for when the first practice come around. It's not just like, okay, we're installing. No, I want everything to be polished, and that's how we want um, us to be. Rita, this will be your third head coach you've played for in Nebraska. You've obviously seen a lot, been around a lot. What's really jumped out to you about what you're facing this year and kind of the changes that have happened? Like, what excites you about kind of uh, what's happened here in the last few months? Um, definitely a different culture, um, change of culture. Everybody's wanting to win, and that's something that's been different from the years I've been playing. Um, and it's not just a one position group. It's not just the offense. It's collectively the coaches, the players, everybody around the Husker Nation, we all want us to win, and we all have that same mindset. So it's really nice that we have that culture now. And coming into the first practice, um, having on a really high expectation for everything. Have you ever noticed it with the fans, just how it feels more unified out there when you talk to fans and see people out about it? Oh, yeah. Um, just when Coach Frost came in, everybody was like, wow, big things are going to happen. And even when I walk around, I hear more go big reds than I probably heard in the last few years. So, Freedom, the defensive line group is a pretty loud group of guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How, uh, yeah. What's it like being in that room, especially since you guys have gone through so many different positional coaches and head coaches in the last couple of years? Well, the really nice thing about being that that room is that we're all brothers. Like no matter what, at the end of the day, we love each other and we all we all want the best for each other. Um, going through a lot, of, a lot of coaches, we realize that there's a lot of different styles of plays, different styles of coaching, and all stuff. And we all come together to help one another to understand exactly what do we need to make sure uh, we're doing the right thing at a certain time and place. And they're also really funny. <laughs> A really funny group. How do you feel about going into going into fall? You know, how do you feel your game is at? Or do you, do you feel healthy? Like, do you feel confident? Oh, I feel real confident. Oh, yeah, I feel real confident. Um, through this whole summer, most people think about it, it's just like conditioning and lifting weights, but actually, we actually took the football part to heart even more. Like, we did drills, we studied the plays. We want to make sure everything is more polished than we did in the spring. So I feel really confident about everybody and just can't wait. What do you think about some of the new guys like uh, Tate Wildeman and Casey Rogers, some of those guys who came in, have they shown you anything or like just going through stuff? Oh, I've, I've seen progress, definitely. Um, I remember when I was a freshman coming in, I thought I was really good, and then I saw the college level, and it, it's just a whole nother level. And seeing them coming in, um, going through the drills, understanding what they have to do for this system, and basically every day getting better. It's been a real joy seeing them getting better every single day. And, um, oh, yeah, they're going to come along, definitely. Do you feel like uh, you have the most depth on the D-line since you've been here to, like, maybe rotate? Oh, yeah, there's a, <laughs> there's a lot of depth now, uh, especially having just three three linemen on the field. There's a lot of depth. Um and everybody, everybody can play. That's what's really nice. Everybody has the ability to play. Everybody knows what they need to do. And that's just really confident because if I have to come out, I know that the man behind me or somebody else is going to make the play that I would have made or something like that. What has Vaha Badu brought in? New guy, older guy, though. I mean, has he been able to kind of blend right in with the, the veterans on the, on the roster? Oh, definitely. Um, his experience from Washington, I believe. Um, Utah? Ooh, my fault. <laughs> my fault, V. Uh, his experience um, has helped us. He's shown us the way he's done it, and we kind of incorporate how, like, this 3-4 is similar to his 3-4.
in, in some ways it's different, but he's been a huge hand um, helping us and helping us get better every single day. Is he pretty strong? Oh, yeah, he's really strong. He's really strong. Um, proud to be, I'm proud for him to be here and really happy. Hey, Freedom, um, in your senior year, I'm sure you've heard it, fans say six wins, seven wins, that'd be great. But as a senior, what's your message to your guys that this isn't a rebuilding year? Um, for, for us, it's, we have a high expectation. If we don't reach the Big Ten Championship, that's something we've all been saying the whole time. Every time we go, we break down in practice, it's the aim towards the Big Ten Championship. Anything below that is failure. And that's the mindset you have to have because if you don't have that mindset, then you're not setting yourself for the next level. You can't, you can't accept six wins and hope to go to the NFL. So just having that high expectation for everybody every single day is just what we did in the summer, and we're going to incorporate that throughout the whole season. Oh, I squat a lot. <laughs> um, I actually got my one of my best competition, Tender Farmer. Um, I don't think I've ever been able to squat over six plates in my life. Never even thought about it. Um, we probably squatted eight plates, something like that. And just in the weight room, just getting stronger, throwing up weight that I would think that most like bigger guys would do than me. Um, running longer, harder, just those things that Coach Duval had us do and helping us translate the weight room to the field. Getting bigger and stronger was always a goal before the off season, and now that you guys have done it, as you're about to head into the regular season, is that sort of going to still be like the same? Oh, is that still going to be the same, or are there going to be new areas to focus on with going into the to the new practices? Well, with Coach Duval, uh, I don't think he believes in lifting light at all, because um, we can always grow stronger or be stronger, and if you try to maintain, you're just going to go down. So for us, it's about getting stronger every single day. Um, maybe Coach Duval changes like certain exercises, but it's going to help us on the field. And, yeah, that's it.